What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic reviews. And in this video, we're talking about The Flash issue number 784. This is another Dark Crisis tie-in. So I made a promise that I cover all the Dark Crisis tie-ins and that's why I'm covering The Flash book right now. And as you can see on the cover right there, we have Pariah, we have Wally West, Barry Allen, and Wallace West, also known as Ace. So uh, the last issue, they went going into the Speed Force, into the multiverse, trying to figure out where Barry Allen is. You got various speedsters there. You have like Jesse Quick and you have Max and, you know, you have Wallace, you have Ace, Ira, Jai, and pretty much everyone's off going to different versions of Barry Allen. The first one here is like Mad Max Fury Road type situation, which, you know, Mad Max Fury Road's a very good movie. It's, it's an iconic action movie at this point. And Barry Allen's basically just kind of caught up in something like that. He's got the beard and he's got the flash information there, but like it's not their Barry Allen. Then we have some other one known as Night Flash, who's putting Jay, Jai and Ira into a threatening situation. But somebody comes and kind of saves them, and we don't exactly know who's looking out for them. It's kind of left ambiguous, but we'll find out in the next issue. Then we have kind of this weird storyline here where it's uh, Barry and Wally, like them as like much younger. And then we have Wally and Wallace there who are kind of watching from afar. But Wally, when he tries to talk to Barry, is seen by Barry as the reverse Flash. So there's some weird dream state kind of going on in this reality right here where nothing seems fully right and he's ready to stop Thawne. Uh Wallace, of course, gets the silver flash suit here and there's something kind of like not all right with the world with the situation. He feels kind of like being manipulated by something. So that's the issue in a nutshell. So it definitely adds some intrigue to the overall Dark Crisis thing. It seems like Pariah is probably behind the whole situation because we also had those world without a justice league things where everyone was where it seemed like a random dream situation so maybe this is the case for the flash here and maybe this is also the case with the whole young justice uh dark crisis time that came out this week as well so our work is pretty good jeremy adams really gets the characters quite well in this particular storyline and it's got me intrigued to see how it all goes like from here there's there's a lot of moving parts in this thing but it doesn't feel overstuffed uh it's it's carefully set things up and it feels like we're gonna get some interesting executions so yeah best part about this issue for me the mad max barry allen stuff like i think it's always cool when you can get some crazy post-apocalyptic like mad max type scenario in your comics or just something outlandish and out there like that it has a, a sense of fun to it all so yeah, uh, not, no real like complaints for me on this end. Uh, I enjoyed this issue just fine, and I'm interested to see how this one uh, ties into Dark Crisis and to see how it's all finished up, I guess. So, anyways, if you have any thoughts on The Flash issue number 784 or this video in general, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit the bell for notifications, and be sure to come back next time to cover another Dark Crisis tie-in with the uh young justice book so there's that and then later on today will be dc versus vampires but i can't get five videos out this morning so look forward to that all right that's all i gotta say as always take care now bye bye then and i'll see you all in the next video peace